Live. Happy New Year, everybody. Money Smart Guy, Matt Zipala here. A segment here, an episode on how to be relentless with your finances. If you're joining us today, we're graced with the presence of Mr. Tim Grover, author of Relentless. We're going to get into his story, but he was a personal trainer for Michael to Michael Jordan for 15 years. Started off as a 30-day experimental uh, opportunity and then turned into a 15-year relationship. So, Tim, let's jump right in, and I'm so excited to have you on this live stream. Hey, thanks, man. So am I. It's really, it's really good, man. I, it's, I'm really excited about this event coming up. I mean, I get excited at all my events, but this one's real special because of my relationship with you guys. You know, it's interesting. When, uh, when I accidentally bumped into you when I traveled to Dallas, you and Sherry were there doing an interview on Valuetainment. And it was just an awesome experience to meet you because I, w- I was just, by the way, this is my book here. This is, uh, I, I mark my books because people like to steal my books. <laughs> so I, I, I got to mark my books and uh, this thing's got all sorts of, uh, of, uh, of uh, marks in it. And I'm, I'm looking forward to you signing this uh, when, when we get together. No problem. And the funny thing about that in Dallas, you weren't even supposed to be there. We weren't even expecting you there. You were uh, from a scheduling standpoint, you were gonna, I think you had something else to do and you were able to just happen to stop by like, hey, this worked out perfect. It, it sure did. It sure yeah. did. When, when Mario told me, yeah, Tim Grover's in. I'm like, what? Yeah, Tim Grover's in here. You got to be. I said, you, are you punking me right now? <laughs> but, 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 but Tim, this year, you know, we were talking about not just resolutions, but we want results. And, and uh, we treat business like we treat sport. And by the way, I'm, I'm, wearing, my, uh, I'm wearing my Entre Patley shirt for this interview. Because uh, uh, we, we consider ourselves, listen, our, our glory days may have been in the battlefield when I was in the Marine Corps or, or some athletes may be watching this, your glory days were in high school, college, or even in the pros. Uh, but we're translating that competitive drive into business. And one of the things I recognize with a lot of my military battle buddies is that they have a hard time sometimes translating that military um, attention to detail, that, that drive, the determination, the competitive nature into their personal individual lives, into the per- personal finances. How have you seen, uh, how, how would you address that? How, do, how does somebody translate that from one aspect of their lives into specifically their finances? Well, you know what, when you look at it, it's, you're not trading one addiction for another. You're just trading what you do and who you really are. I mean, if you look at yourself from a military military background, I mean, the discipline, the relentlessness you have to have, the attention to de- attention to detail, it's what happens is when people make that transition from one thing to the other, they exhale, they forget who they really are, they become somebody that they're not, all right? And, you know, when you're talking about your finances, you talk about, especially in this age and this time, something that you have to be relentless on or have somebody who has that knowledge you have to keep a very close eye on what's going on there because, you know, you, in a blink of an eye, it can, it can go in a different direction that you don't want, you don't want it to go. And it becomes that, it becomes that trust that you have to find somebody, a relationship with an individual who knows what they're, who knows what they're talking about, who can guide, who can guide you in that right direction. But that trust has, that trust has to be earned. And then you go in your, you know, you go in your line of work, you know, when you guys are, you know, in that wall or in that pit or whatever it is, you got to trust every individual that's there. Yeah. Right? If you can't, something, something's going, something's going to go wrong. And now what happens is when people try to make that transition from competitive sports, military, whatever it may be, into competitive financing and understand how to equate that and make money. They have a hard time finding that addiction and they have a far hard time finding that trust with that person. So what, once they have that trust, then they can have that competitive fire come back again because they're so accustomed to doing things on their own. It's hard for them to let go and let somebody else kind of th- take things over for them. That's where you guys come in. Yeah. When I was watching uh, Kobe's tour and every time his last year playing in the NBA, every stop, every place, it was the last time being there. I mean, there was, a, there was a ceremony just thanking Kobe for his career and what he brought to the game. And I remember when he came into Charlotte and Michael uh, said a message to Kobe. He said, listen, Kobe, you know, no more basketball after this. You just have to find a way to translate your competitive drive to something else. And next thing you know, he's, he's an investor. He's, he's investing in, in companies. And, and yeah. it looks like business to him is his new business, sport. Would you business, is it? business is his kind of business. And, you know, being in 
uh, director, directing of movies and animation and that stuff. You know, those are things that people didn't know about him while he was a uh, while he was you know trying to be or becoming the one of the best basketball players out there. But you know, that time his focus was basketball. It was all in on bat on basketball. Now he's taking that competitive thing and putting it into, into something else. And you know, an interesting comment that he made is that he says, "Listen, if I leave this planet." And the only thing I'm known as is this, you know, one of the greatest basketball players. I've cheated myself and I've cheated everybody else around. So you hear a person, you hear a person say that. And, you know, that that's that that's that competitive nature. This, you know, even though one thing is ended or right, it's, it's the beginning of it's the beginning of something. It's the beginning of something else, especially at, you know, at the age that these individuals are at. It was the same thing with Michael when he stopped playing, when he stopped playing. The competitiveness was like still in the business, you know, the the brand, the brand Jordan brand, still making the number one selling shoe out there, always wanting to own a team and trying to constantly, you know, make that team uh, a champion, just like he did when uh, he was a player. So it, it's never lost. It's just people have a hard time finding a different avenue to put it in because they're so used to just doing one thing all, all the time. And as you get closer to the end of whatever you're doing, you still have to have that focus on your main your main objective. But you got to kind of start planning for other things. But you, what happens is when people start planning for other things, they get away from what really made them that person. And you can't you can't do that. You got to plan, but you still got to finish what you're what you're out there doing. You know, t- Tim, what, one of the one of the fantastic things when I was watching your interview with Patrick on Valuetainment, and you were talking about that transition, finding that next person to help trust that you can trust. And you said something in his interview with that, I think it was pretty awesome. You said when selecting your associations, even selecting you, Tim, your clients, you got to find somebody just as messed up as you are. No just, question. Right? It, it, it can you expl- uh, expand a little bit? Because a lot of times people get upset that the clientele and their business partners and associations they've chosen let them down to explain messed up as you well, are. You, you know what? It, listen, if you're an aggressive person, uh, you, you don't want to do business with somebody that doesn't have the same type of personality that, that, that you, that you have, you got to in a relationship, whether it's a personal relationship, whether it, it's a business relationship, they have to have the same mentality as you do. And that's what I mean. They got to be, uh, you know, messed up. Wasn't the word I use. It began with an F. <laughs> but, right. But that's what it's got. That's what it's got to be that, you know, I, you know, they say opposites attract opposites do attract. But if you if you're all, if you're the opposite all the time, you don't have the same ideas. You don't have the same goals. You don't have the same. You're not pushing yourself the same. You're not pushing yourself the same way. You got to have somebody who, who thinks and acts just like you, just like you do and, ha- and has that same drive and that same understanding and that same passion or whatever it may be that you have to get, to get you, to get you what you want. Now they may be, they may be, have a, um, they may have a skill set in something else that you don't. And that's where the, ba- that's where the balance comes in, where you come and trust, Hey, you do this, but I'm going to do this. But if, listen, if you pay attention to every little detail and then you get with a person who, who likes, doesn't pay attention to detail, that's, that's, that's the wrong kind of effed up you want to be. All right. You got to find that person that's just, that does the things the way you want to do it. That it's basically you, you guys are working together. That person is delivering the results that you want the same way that you would do it. If you're not a, if you're a person that's a, gets up at five o'clock in the morning and doesn't go to sleep until midnight, and you're working with a financial person and you have a question, well, you want to be able to call that person at six o'clock in the morning. You don't want that person that's only work a, only work nine to five. That's not gonna that's not gonna work. Well, what are you doing with my other? What are you doing with the other four hours? And that's what I mean. It's that it's that same messed up as messed up as you are. In that kind of in that kind of way, they got to have the same kind of they got to have the same kind of addiction for that success for whatever you have that you have, and they got to be able to deliver it for you. All right, awesome, that's it. Yeah, we're not in the convincing business. If if we got to convince somebody that they want to change their life around, we shouldn't be wasting our time. Look, like I'm I'm pretty sure it's in 
you're around professional athletes all the time. You said in your book, I don't get it why these athletes want to make multi millions of dollars a year in the professional sport, but yet they even want to invest in a trainer. I, they're not even investing in themselves. No, they don't. They don't. It, it's fun. Well, you know what happens now? It, it's you get individuals, especially in a lot of things where you have guaranteed money. So let's say you, you have people that that work jobs. All right, let's look at let's look at this. All right, uh, we'll tell everyone. Let's talk about a professional athlete. All right, so you have an individual that has, let's say, he's signed a contract for ten million dollars a year. All right, guaranteed money. Whether he whether he or scores another basket, another free throw, shows up at another practice, he's guaranteed ten million dollars, regardless of what his performance is. All right. Where does that come? That comes from in here now, all right? Because you're not playing for the money. You remember Michael, his last, his before he signed his big deal, his he was playing for four million dollars a year. Four million dollars a year. Never complained. Never did say, hey, listen. He just said, if I do what I'm supposed to do on the basketball court, everything else will take care of itself. Nowadays, everybody is worried about their brand first. They're worried about their brand, all right, instead of putting out their excellent results, then the brand will follow. You can't build your brand. Nobody can build a brand of mediocrity on ordinary. You can only build a brand if you're doing something exceptional. That's mm -hmm. how you build your brand. That's what Valuetainment is doing. That's what Attack Athletics is doing. And that's what MJ did. That's what Kobe did. You got to you got to have success. You got to get all in on whatever you're doing. Then your brand will follow you. It will build. You don't have to worry about building your uh, your brand. You know what happens is people chase fame. Uh, you, listen, you don't find fame. Fame finds you. You just continue to produce that result over and over again. People know what you can do. You know, we always talk about the loudest person in the room is the one that has the most to prove and the least ability to prove it. Go by your results. That's what people want to judge you by. People want to judge you by your results. Listen, the one thing that inflation has gone up, correct? Every year, everything has always gone up. What's the one thing that's never gone up in price? Talk. Talk. It's always going to be cheap. It will always be cheap. It's the people that can deliver the results after that are the ones you want to be able to do with. And then when you have, you'll meet, hey, how many, you got the people listening here, we're talking about managing money. How many people have come in and talked to these different individuals? And this is one of the reasons they're, they're, people are hesitant to make a move because all these people, they oversell and under deliver. They, they overpromise things and they, and they don't deliver on any of it. it you can't, one thing you can't do is you can't oversell. You come in there, you tell, hey, this is where I'm going to deliver and you better deliver it. That's exactly how I got my business. 30 days turned into 15 years. I said, this is what I'm going to deliver in those 30 days. And that's exactly, that's exactly what I did. When I got hired by Kobe, he was having knee issues. I delivered pain-free knees. So when you say you're going to be able to do something and deliver it, you better be able to back it up. Tim, I remember that that story that you uh, in in the, in the Valley Tim episode where you e uh, emailed you mailed the letter. There's no email back then. You mailed the letter to all the Chicago Bulls players. I think you were even targeting Brad Sellers, six eleven. I remember him, uh, small forward. Six six. Well, actually, back then he was a yeah he was a he was a six eleven small forward. You know, he came out of Ohio State. He was like a buck eighty five at six eleven. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and so and so. The only person that you didn't send a letter to to offer your personal training services was Michael. But yet, but yet, so in other words, you did a hustle to mail these letters to the players, but the only person to respond to your, your offer to train was the only person that, did, that didn't get a letter was Michael Jordan. Right. And then this, and, and that's, you know what? Th that's why I try to tell people there's a reason these guys are the best of the best. All right. It's because they're always looking for that competitive edge. They're always looking for that next thing. All right. They're not satisfied being what everyone else thinks is the best. You know, it's funny when you're good. OK, you tell everybody. OK, people are always, oh, I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I'm good at this. When you're great and unstoppable, you don't tell anybody. 
they tell you. All right. But see, in the, in those guys' mind, when you talk about a, a Michael Jordan, a Tom Brady, a Joe Montana, a Kobe Bryant, these individuals, they never think they're good enough. They never think they're good enough. They're always looking for that next competitive edge. And the one thing they do do is they allow people to do their jobs. Once they trust them, they allow people to do their jobs. All right, because they know you have an expertise in something that uh, that they don't. And if you produce the results and you gain that trust, they let those individuals do what they're supposed to do. And that's what my guys have always allowed me to do. Once I've gotten their trust, they say, this is what you do. Go do it. Hey, guys, you, if you're tuning in right now and you're listening to this on podcast, you're watching this right now on YouTube or you're watching it with us live. I've been sharing your comments live. You're listening to the Movement Podcast here. I'm your Money Smart Guy, Matt Zappala. And this is our guest speaker, featured speaker for next week in New Orleans, Tim Grover, author of the book Relentless, personal trainer Michael Jordan, as well as Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. I think this year also we were training uh, James Winston, a couple of Chicago Cubs you were training to as well. Uh, which was a Chicago Cub you were training, Tim? Uh, Jason Hayward was one of our guys. Jason Hayward. Yeah. It's awesome. Very so, good. you know, we, we deal, we listen, every, we look for a challenge. We're constantly looking at, we're constantly looking for the challenge. And, you know, not all, we don't find the answer right away. Listen, with our quarterback, he had some, he had some issues this year. The team didn't do well. Guess what? I guaranteed a lot of people jumped ship already. They're looking for the next thing. What did we do? We dug our feet in even, even harder because, you know, we're not, we're, we're, we're not only there for the success, we're there for the failures. We just don't, we just don't talk about it when our clients do well. We also, we're also there when things aren't going well. It's our, job to, it's our job to figure it out. And that's the most, and that's what makes it so fun and enjoyable when you're there for the, when you're there for the whole ride. You know, it, like they said, it's like a roller coaster. Listen, the roller coaster, it's thrilling going up, it's thrilling going, it's thrilling going down, turb, loops, all that other stuff. You got to find a way to deal with all. You got to find a way to deal with the up, the down, the curve, the upside, all that other stuff. Too many people try. Too many people want to. Hey, they, they they love to raise. They love to put that. They love to put their hand. They love to put their hands up. All right, when things are going good, when things aren't going bad, you can't. You can't find. You can't find them. You That's it. Not find them. Now, Tim, when I bumped into you in Dallas. Uh, you and Sherry were doing some research. You were really, and you told me you were really looking forward to your interview with our CEO of PHP Agency, Patrick Bet David. You did some due diligence. You did some research because you know you're looking for people also that you can connect with to as well. What was it about Patrick? What was it about PHP Agency that you felt that you've seen that said, "Man, I'm really looking forward to my interview in in, in relationship that you're starting to create with PHP Agency." Well, the one thing was, <laughs> he's a very intelligent individual. Very, very smart person. Very, very smart person. All right. Same thing. He had to he, he had to go through the struggles. He had to go through the struggles. I don't. It's funny. You get people on social, you get people on social media and they love telling other people what to do, but they've never accomplished anything. Yeah. All they all they have is a lot. All they all they've accomplished is that they have a lot of followers. <laughs> or, or they or they or they, po or they post stuff, but they've never they've never gone through anything. Right. All right. right, you've gone through stuff. Patrick has gone through stuff. You guys just went through stuff recently. You're continuing to go through stuff. You know, there's a there's a growth period. You know, there's a down period. I watched that. I watched some of his other. I watched some of his other interviews. You know, and, and the way he taught, the way he talks to people. It, it's funny. Everybody wants. Everyone talks about, you know, I want to help people. 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 Yes, everybody, you're supposed to want to help people. All right. But in order to help people, they got to want help and you got to be able to help yourself. You got to be able to help yourself too. So what Patrick, what Patrick has done and what you guys have done is you got, you've put this platform together you know, to help people, to help them financially, to educate them, for them to have a better life if they do the work, if they do the study, if they put in the if they put in the time. You're, you guys are set. You guys are selling hard work and not just uh, and not just opportunity. A lot of people just sell this opportunity stuff. You know, hey, give us 
give us $500 and 30 days and you can flip this house and you can do this and you can do that. Okay. Wow. And they make it, and they make, and they make it look like it's so easy. And when you see those commercials, if you read the caption on the bottom, first thing it says, these results are not typical. <laughs> right. That's what they always say. If you look at this disclaimer, these results are, these results are not typical because everybody, you know, with the, with this day and age, it's about instant gratification. It's about now, you know, before, like you said, you had to mail a letter. It take, it took a week before that letter got there. Now it's all about email. You know, you can reach out to anybody on, so, you can reach out to anybody on social media. You get all your information from this little box. All right. You know, I, I'm a couple of months older than you, uh, or older than you are, Matt. But when we had to go to stuff, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I had, you know, we had to go to the library. We had to check out a book. We had to figure out what the Dewey, Dec yeah, what the Dewey Decimal System was. And then you had uh, you had to return that book because somebody else was waiting for that book. You, so you it wasn't like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, you had late fees, you had all this other, you had all this stuff. Now it's funny that you have access to all this information, all this information, and people are actually doing less because you know what happens? You know why they're doing less? Because they're easily distracted. Because with all this information now, they're easily distracted. You know, if if they come to if they come to our event, your event, our event, yes, our New event. Orleans, all right. The one thing they're going to understand is like you guys are giving them a solution, but it's going to take time. It's going to take it's going to take effort. It's just not going to happen this quick. It's just not going to happen that quick, and that's what people people end up quitting to end up quitting too soon. And one of the things that I'm going to talk about is like, listen, before you can get a paycheck. You got to get a reality check and I'm going to give everybody a reality check. That's what I'm going to give everybody. They are going to get a reality check. I'm the individual you bring in <laughs> that I say things that are on a lot of people's mind, but due to rules and regulations, they can't say it. I can say it. <laughs> I can say it. All right. I'm not. This isn't a, this isn't a feel good event. This is going to be something I want it to be impactful. I want to leave you something that's going to impact your life that you're going to take away with and you're going to say, you know what? He's absolutely right. I, I, I want I want you to I want you to feel it inside. This isn't going to be about high fives and hugs and running around and all that other stuff. Listen, I want people to get I want people to get fired up. But the thing is, I want them to stay fired up. I don't want this to be a sugar high. I don't want them to, you know, like they just had an energy drink and all of a sudden they got this high. And then after after the event's over, they're like, well, what do we do now? You got to be able to sustain. You got to be able to sustain that fire. That's what that's what we're going to tell these people. And the event that Tim is talking about is our PHB agency event in New Orleans next January 18th, 19th and 20th. We're going to be uh, in the Hyatt. So. By the way, there's, if there's any fans out there that ever watched last year's movie with Queen Latifah and Jada Pinkett Smith, that, was, that movie was called Girls Trip. That hotel that that movie was filmed in, that's where we're going to have a convention at, oddly enough. Uh, it's our third year in a row over there, everybody. So we were encouraging you guys to attend. And by the way, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do something very special for you guys. For those of you that's in a sharing mood, for those of you that's watching this right now, and you've seen Tim, you've heard Tim, you may have even picked up his book. You're you're following him on his Instagram Attack Athletics. You're 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 um, you're a fan of the athletes that he's coached. We want to give you access to a community of like-minded individuals that's probably just as messed up as you are, if not more, to help you grow financially, to help you grow mentally. And I like what you say, Tim. You need to get a checkup from the neck up before yep. you get a, before you get that paycheck in in the wallet. And we want to offer you guys, for those of you who's watching this, and you're already, let's say you're, this, this is not for anybody that's already got a ticket, but for somebody out there right now that, that you're looking at PHP agency, you're not exactly sure uh, what you're going to do in 2018 to have a financial reality check, and you need one, so therefore you can get a real financial paycheck. We want to offer you, anybody that shares this video right now that isn't already registered. You share this video right now, uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to select your name. We're going to cross-reference it with our list, and we want to offer you a ticket to our event absolutely for free. If you can get out to New Orleans and put yourself up, get to New Orleans, invest in yourself, fly out to New Orleans. And by the way, it's the best time to fly because it's, it's off-peak. Fly out to New Orleans, stay at the Hyatt, 
we're going to give you free access to our event for the entire three for the entire two and a half days 18th 19th and 20th where it's going to be capped off with tim grover speaking at our event how's that for finding value in people's lives that we want to give you value why because we're, we're, in a, we're in a paid forward uh type situation it's about people helping people tim Listen, there's so much value. You can I, I can have this conversation with you forever. Right. Listen, most people come in and speakers, they drop nuggets. I'm dropping boulders. I don't drop nuggets. All right. I'm drop. Yeah, I'm dropping boulders. All right. I'm dropping. I'm drop. I'm dropping boulders. And, there was, you know, Matt, there's one thing that you said. All right. There's nothing wrong. And there's nothing selfish about investing in yourself. All right, so many times people are so afraid to invest in themselves because they think they, they you should always be doing for others. You should do for others, but the more you do for yourself, the more you can do for others. You see, can't give, but you ain't got. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And then when you can give, and, and the more you got, the more you can give. Absolutely. All right, take care. Take care of yourself too. It's very, very important. Excellent. Tim, thank you so much for being so gracious with your time. And, My pleasure. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Please sell out to Sherry for me. I know we've been communicating a lot back and forth. Yes. Uh, and we're looking forward to seeing you next Saturday at New Orleans at a Power Up event with PHP Agency. Yes. I'm right. looking forward to everybody being there. Hey, listen, get there. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure out a way. It will be well worth your time. Trust me on this. I don't do many events. I'm very picky when I which ones I choose. So if I choose an event, they're the people behind it are they're real. They're real. Okay, Tim. Thank you so much. Hey guys, listen, pl please uh, uh, drop your comments uh, for Tim. You guys have been doing it already on the stream. Make sure you're sharing this because we're going to be selecting somebody that is sharing this and that isn't already attending the event, hasn't registered because maybe. Uh, they didn't know about it or they weren't uh, looking at investing in an event. So, so listen, the best time to invest in yourself is right now at the beginning of the year. So it can help you compound your event throughout 2018. So, Tim, right. thanks for joining your show. And uh, I'll see you. I'll see you next Saturday. Yes, sir. Take care. Right. So hello, right. everybody, for me. You got it. All right. All right. Hey, guys, listen, I, I want you guys to know that uh, Tim here is very gracious with his time. And, and we're looking forward to connecting with you guys in New Orleans next week. Uh, if you haven't connected with me on social media, if at Money Smart Guy on social media, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, we last year we did uh, an entire 24 episodes of vlogs to check out what a life of an entrepreneur is, a life of a veteran entrepreneur. I came from the Marine Corps. Uh, I'm looking. By the way, I'm going to show you guys my paycheck from the military. This is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, that 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 shows that I was making sixteen thousand dollars a year. $16,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marine Corps. That was my paycheck. And because of books like Relentless, because specifically of my mentor in Patrick Bay David, and Tim, something said very, 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 very important. You've got to select who you're going to listen to. There's so much confusion out there. This, it's not that there's a lack of information out there. There's a lack of leadership out there. And if you don't have anybody consistently leading in your life to help you grow, do more and have, by surrounding you with the right system, wear the right jersey, surrounded with the right uh, culture. That's what PHP Agency is all about. This is what we're doing on a daily basis. And I can't tell you how many success stories we've had. You're gonna hear the success stories. You come out to our event, you're gonna hear the success stories. Why? Because the success stories, it's not what, what Tim said earlier, it's not results aren't typical. We're gonna show you typical results from people that actually put hard work and effort into application of the things that they hear like uh, what they hear from Tim, like what they hear from Patrick and David, like they hear from uh, many of our VPs. And the, the, the cool thing about this, it's just not a match show. Our VPs of PHP Agency on the East Coast, Jason Graziani, uh, um, uh, Kehindi Thomas from, from, um, from uh, Fort Lauderdale, Plantation, Florida, Rodolfo Ceci Vargas from Houston, Texas, my wife. We will be interviewing Tim also on stage. So if you've got questions that you want us to ask Tim on stage, make sure you connect with the gentleman and the ladies that I just I just uh, mentioned, and make sure that you attend our event. We'll be answering them on stage. Uh, we want you to be part of this community because it's all about uh, creating the, and learning from the wisdom of the crowd. Because the wisdom of the crowd is always smarter than the smartest person in the crowd. So hey guys, listen, I'm fired up. Um, listen, Patrick, uh, I, I mentioned Patrick here in the, in the update. Uh, he couldn't quite make it, 
but uh, he just asked me to finish out the rest of the show. But uh, he also will be in New Orleans also too as well, host of Value Entertainment, which by the way is back on the air. He's already got three episodes up. It was a biz doc. He was talking about Bitcoin. Uh, Patrick had an episode about uh, an interview with Lewis Howes, which is the book of the month, uh, Mask of Masculinity uh, back here. Uh, let me see here. Let me show you guys the uh, book. Uh, mask. We're reading this book, The Mask of Masculinity uh, for the book of the month in January. And uh, at the same time, uh, he also had an episode on how to get rich. We want to find you with the right people, the right books, the right information and put them in your corner. And you and you have focus, drown out all the noise and you get you get nasty with it in 2000, 2018. How's that sound? So listen, I'm fired it up for the next seven days. Until we get there, um, shout out to uh, Latina Vega. Who is this? Uh, uh, Yvonne Everett, what's going on? Uh, Vanessa Byers, uh, good to see you join our show here. Uh, Guillermo Vasquez, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, Eva, uh, I am Eva. Veronica Cruz, of course, you'd love it. Absolutely. And uh, James uh, Penas, appreciate you guys joining this too as well. Perla, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for commenting. Uh, you guys, listen, I'm, I'm going to wrap up here. Time on deck, 1.30 Central Standard Time, PM. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in New Orleans next week. Again, the person that shares this the most times through all the groups you're connected with, uh, we're going to be we're gonna monitoring it here for the next couple hours. The person that shares this and shares this the most will get a free ticket. If you're not already registered, we'll get a free ticket to New Orleans on behalf of the Money Smart Movement team a future agency because we want you to be surrounded with the right system, to be surrounded with the right people, to be engulfed in the right uh, community and culture. So therefore you can start effectively, start changing your financial life in 2018 and get out of 2018, get out of this year, what you want to financially resolve. We, and by the way, we want results for you, not resolutions. We want results for you. And if you want results, you invest into our event, you come out, you come meet. I know it's gonna be a whole lot of uh, experience and information thrown at you. But I'd rather you have that and the experience and have guidance and leadership to guide you in the right direction of people that's creating results. Because as I showed you earlier, I was making $16,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marine Corps. And this uh, uh, last year, uh, in the last three years combined, uh, my wife and I have combined total of income of over $1.8 million. This business has legitimately paid us over $1.8 million take home in our pocket and reinvesting back to ourselves. And we're investing back into you because we're investing into this community, we're investing into this New Orleans. Listen, guys, this wasn't a cheap event we're putting together, right? So your tickets, yeah, it, it, it's 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 peanuts compared to what responsibility we had to sign on the contract with the Hyatt and uh, with Tim and uh, the people that we are contracted to do business with. So uh, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for what you can accomplish. Take your business plan to dreams and goals to reality. I look forward to seeing you guys in New Orleans next week, January 18, 19, and 20. And say, Matt, listen, I may not have won the free ticket by sharing the most, but I definitely want to attend. I definitely want to fly myself down to New Orleans. I'll put myself up in any hotel to be there for two and a half days with you guys at PHP Agency to learn how to become an entrepreneur, to learn how to become a master of my money versus my money mastering me. If that's you, send me a message. We'll find a way to get you a ticket at a discounted price. And if there's any left available, because I think we're already at capacity, but please send me a message. Uh, I want to reach out to you. I want to connect with you and we'll see what we can do. But you need to put, you need to go out there and put out the work. I don't want to say you're going to get everything free for free. That's not that type of event. I'm not that type of guy. Why? Because you always value what you pay for. You always value what you invest in. You never value what you get for free. So with that being said, guys, all you guys dropping comments, Pete as Reina, we're super excited to be in New Orleans. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Deanne Marcos, Nola, baby. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Have a great day. Happy New Year.